you guys didn't tell us the amount of voltage of electricity you're using on those boats because it was all classified and they said that when those boats touch salt water it's going to make an electrical shock that is so intense it'll corrode right through 11 inches of aluminum within a year now that's the boats hanging out above our reefs so we now know almost positively what's killing all the reefs now we have up here at Pilaan stuff and when, once you get up a little bit more in this area you don't have as bad a reef damage as you do at, at Nualolo and Mililii and then it, it, it gradually is a little bit better once it comes around the corner so this is what we got from the courts here this is the power grid here in Kauai so these are the hot spots right out here Kalalau, Onalei, all the way up here <coughs> okay now the red zones are the area of the highest amount of military electronics and then they put in two of them over here now in Nihihau. Now and then they have one over at Salt Pond so they got a couple on the south side but the hottest field of electronics is here. This overlays completely to the worst reef damage. When I started documenting the reef style along the coastline uh, was in August of 2012 from the court documents, they turned on these electronics in August of 2012. Hmm. So what they're doing now is the military, and I had, I don't know if you got to hear, but I had a Brian Hay, the head of the military on KKCR for two hours, and I cornered him on all this shit on the radio. This was a month ago. And he said to everyone that they weren't aware of the electronics killing all the reefs, but they didn't challenge any of my data and they want to work with me on it and that was all bullshit because they have refused to meet I've got a team of 12 scientists the National Geographic two of them are Nobel Prize winners and so we wrote them the military formal letters to get together to talk about all this and they're just ignoring them now what they said is this is only a five-year test and it's been starting in 2012 and you know so they're going well be done in a few years and then the environment can you know heal itself if there's any problems hmm. I mean, it, it's so fucked up that it's unbelievable it's not even it's not even remotely legal in US law nonetheless that they don't belong here to start out with okay now now what they just announced and this is unbelievable and I, I got the article was in the uh, Honolulu Star Advertiser, I put it up on my Facebook, um, is they just announced that these sites now are permanent warfare sites, not a test, and they're active now warfare weapons, and they're weaponizing a thousand square miles of ocean off the coast here. That's fucked up. I, and so what that means is that these are active weapons to shoot at North Korea if the U.S. decides to do that. But now what they have to do is they have to all the area here secure it with electronics and sonar so the North Koreans and Chinese and shit can't penetrate to get to the weapons. And they just, just announced this like, oh, ho-hum, we're weaponizing the whole North Shore of Kauai. Well, Earth Justice, we already won a lawsuit against the military in April for killing the whales with the sonar. And the judge, Fifth Circuit judge in Honolulu, ordered the military to move all of their electronics and sonar offshore. And they're giving them five years to do it. So it's not like an order to do it now. So they already have that court order and now they're announcing that they're keeping it all there permanently and turning it into active weapons of war. That's like totally against what the judge just ordered them not to do. Now, the order is going on behalf of the USA Endangered Species Act. The military cannot violate that. Even the US military. They've lost every time they've ever been sued under the Endangered Species Act. So, I don't know where this is all going to go, but it's it's worldwide heavy-duty news right now now the only one that can override the Endangered Species Act is if the President Obama 
declares this a national security state of emergency. And he hasn't done that as of yet. Well, as of next month, we have an international lawyer coming to Kauai. Good. She's coming for the court case for the jurisdiction for my court case on February Good. 11. Good. And believe me, I will support. And, and with that comes with everything else of the filing. Okay. And with her doing this, what's she going to do? They already gave Dane the um, Department of Interior of yes. uh, Fish and Wildlife Treasury. Department of Interior, I know, yeah. The Treasury yeah. has already wrote one letter, giving that letter to Dane. Now he's in the process of taking over all the lands. Okay. And with that, he can file the cease and desist against the military okay. to stop all so, that. So now this, this, I really want to do this. Okay, i just telling you, I will support you on this 1 million percent. Okay, because if the U.S. military stays here in Kauai, we're not going to have any life left on this island. Yeah. And so it's a matter of, it's not like for you being a Hawaiian and having all this history here, it needs to be, re the wrongs that the, the U.S. government did need to be changed. Yeah. Okay, and I think most logical people will say that. Well, the once a jurisdiction change, everything else changes. Right, but, and, and, and so, but, but, not not for me as much as a Hawaiian sovereignty issue, but as a human being that lives here and loves this place and has kids and doesn't want to see the island fried, that we that we have to get them off of here for our own yeah, security yeah. and love of our own families. I agree. So I'll, I'll help you any bit because I've got the, I have the top legal position here to deal with this in the court system whether it be in Hawaiian court, okay, or U.S. court. No, go better in their court. Yeah, I know. And, and I can stand yeah, up in front of a, a judge and show them the data because I'm the only one that has the data. And the courts already accepted it. Well, it's, it's not, they're not trying to challenge She's coming on the fourth. Okay. The third, actually, to Hawaii. Okay. She's in Oahu for the fourth and the fifth. Okay. Then she's coming to Kauai. Oh, I'll be back here then. Kids. By the, I'm going to be back here by the sixth. But I'm going to be in Oahu with them for the fourth and fifth because she's getting her bar exam from the Supreme Court. If you want me, I'm going to be there. I'm going to give a talk at the Surfers Bar on all of this well, we'll on the third. We'll keep meeting up here when you come back because we're going to be busy there. Okay, not a problem. We got an agenda over there, so when okay. we get back here, we can maybe spend a day with you and yeah. Yeah, at least present this to the king and to the international yeah. law and see what she can do. Absolutely, we can file the same paperwork we filed against a super fair. Yep, yep, and and and, and, the again, cease and, desist. and and once again, we have the backing even by U.S. law and the court orders that are already been handed down yeah. against the military to do this. Yeah, and, and the other thing too, in U.S. law, okay, that a lot of people don't understand. I know the monk seal issue can be very uh, contentious because of the history of monk seals and monk seals eating the fish and hassles with fish. I understand all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is if you look at it from the U.S. point of view, NOAA just declared the entire island of Kauai as critical habitat for the monk seal. That makes even, it, but hold on for a sec, that's actually a good thing for us now. It doesn't do anything to you and I. Does, they, they have no, they're not going to have any authority over us fishing, diving, boating, nothing. Believe no, me. but it just ruins our nets and our way of life. No, now we, no but I'm just saying, but they're, no, they've already yeah. promised us, and I've got it in writing, that they're not going to mess with any of that. The reason they did Who's it, not going to mess with it? No, Noah. Okay, but what about the seals? I know, I know, I understand. They don't want breaking our nets. They don't want taking our food and ripping no, our I, nets. No, I understand, right and I'll work with you on that. Okay, there's, there's a they way. They don't even belong in Hawaii. Okay, there's they a way. There's, when I grew up, they never I know, existed, I know. ever. Hold on for a sec, hold on for a sec. But I'm just saying, there's a way we can, I can work with you on that. Okay, mm -hmm. so, but that's not the issue. But the issue at hand is when Noah declared that, it made everything the military's doing here illegal. See, so it's a, So what is Noah going to do about that? Well, we're going to sue Noah if they don't enforce comply with compliance. Yeah. If the military don't comply the with the we're going to sue coming. Noah and make them kick the military out. So we got we're working at both directions, like I'm saying. The best direction is to have the military gone bye-bye from Kauai forever. That I mean that's 
they don't belong here. Yeah, we need barking sands back. Yeah, we need barking sands back. I yeah. totally agree. Yeah. Give it back to the give it back to the albatross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So anyway, I just want to offer my full support on that 100%. Awesome. And I'm really quite public about that at this point in time because as a biologist, there's no sustainability. There's no future here mm -hmm. for anyone living on this island. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. It just isn't going to happen. Not with this kind of stuff going on. So it's coming to a friggin' head. <laughs> yeah. That's why we. That's why working every day in the last few Good. days, getting count down, getting this lady here. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Her, her hotel room, getting her on car, and paying her fees okay. while she's here. You know. Okay. So, unreal. Well, I'll donate my time and help on this whole thing. Somebody just so. donated a thousand dollars. Yeah. Meet the guy tomorrow, so it's really okay. slow. Okay. Good. Good. It's coming in slowly, you know. But. Okay. That's why you guys have to come together. Good work, man. Yeah, I agree with sure you, hundred percent. Good work. We come from the same place. We like to boat up and down the coast and catch fish. I mean, you know, come on, that's the funnest thing I get to do in my life. You know, and and I mean. You know, I, I lived here part-time for 20 years, mm -hmm. and I moved here full-time because it's my favorite surf spot, and I could spearfish, boat, dive, and surf all in the same area. And then, you know, three years after I moved here, the reefs are all done. Heavy, huh? I know. It is. It's really heavy, and it's really... It's sad, and there's a hell, well, talk to the king. hell of a lot of people that care sure about it now. I'm sure he'll be into it, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good stuff.